after the admin certification, would you do platform app builder, then sales cloud, then go back to advanced admin, or do you have a suggested way that makes the most sense? So uh, it really, uh, this is something that I'm spending a lot of time thinking about as far as charting your course and determining what path is best for you. Um, and so once you've accomplished your admin certification, there's a lot of different options and possibilities for you because the admin certification is a prerequisite for both the sales cloud and, and service cloud consultant certifications. Uh, so that is one option is you could go down the path of consultant. Now, if you want to figure out which of those two have the most overlap and would be the quickest and easiest for you to pass, that would definitely be sales cloud over service cloud. Sales Cloud has a lot of the same types of fundamental concepts. It has probably the most overlap with admin. So that would be the quickest and easiest second certification. And then also consultant certifications weigh more heavily with Salesforce partner companies. I talked about this previously, I think in last week or the week before, pretty at length in the QA. I think it was in uh, the QA two weeks ago. And... Uh, there's, I have an article out there about charting your path. So just Google Mike Wheeler, charting your path, and you'll find it. And I go into detail around how the partner companies are scored and how they reach silver, gold, platinum status. And part of that equation are the certifications that their uh, consultants or their employees hold. And so consultant certifications weigh more heavily than advanced admin or platform app builder. So if your goal is to work for a partner company and be more marketable, I would say go for sales cloud. Um, if you have a background in a service oriented environment like a call center um, or like field service, then I would say instead of going for sales, I would go for service if, if that makes more sense given your background and your interests. And the reason I would go for service as like a high second choice is because that's the second largest um, cloud that Salesforce has based on their quarterly earnings calls. You can get the, to the transcripts of all of those earnings calls and they reveal all of their percentage of revenue by cloud in those calls. And so sales cloud is their largest and that's what they started as. And so Salesforce has their largest um, revenue is in the sales cloud. Second largest is service cloud. Now, another note on service cloud is that the fastest growing cloud offering in Salesforce's history is field service lightning. And so that is where uh, Salesforce is um, helping to revolutionize what is known as field service. And the idea behind that is if you've ever waited on a technician to arrive at your home to come repair your refrigerator or anything like that, that's known as field service. And so Salesforce has a solution around that. And to get to that certification, which is called Field Service Lightning, you have to first have admin, then you have to have Service Cloud Consultant. And then the third certification you get would be Field Service Lightning Certification. And so that is one that's growing immensely fast, and there's not a lot of people that have that certification. So if you're looking to really niche down into something that's really hot, there's not a lot of people with that certification, then I would say go, you know, admin, service cloud, and then field service lightning. I know this is a long answer. I tried to be brief, but it is what it is. Platform app builder, I recommend is if you're wanting to really fully extend your knowledge of the platform as far as what can be done with clicks instead of code. And that's kind of an intermediate step if you're going down the developer path. Now, you can actually go to Platform App Builder without having admin, and my Platform App Builder course is very extensive. I did that one after the admin course, and I really tried to go into things that I really kind of glossed over in admin, but were still kind of fundamental. And uh, it would not hurt you guys, if you're going for admin, to go ahead and go through my Platform App Builder as well. It's 20 hours of fun and frivolity, but also it goes into all the different data types of all the different fields and there's a lot that's not an admin and uh, but that's more to really round out your understanding of the platform and it is helpful if you plan to be a consultant as well but especially helpful if you envision being a developer I always recommend even for those that are natural born coders I think it's good to get platform app builder so that you're not the type of developer that just does a code first mindset that'll actually get you in trouble here because you want to do everything that you can with clicks instead of code, and then resorting to code as a last resort when there's no other way of doing it. That's because you're not always gonna be around to maintain that code base. 
and it can introduce a lot more complexity if you're just always coding, even when you don't have to be. It can cause things to break, and it just makes it harder to pass code coverage. And so then the other one, the other question he was asking about was, or advanced admin. So let me talk about advanced admin for a minute, okay? I'm gonna tell you the unvarnished truth about advanced admin. It is a hard certification, okay? And uh, I felt that one, I think twice. And the reason that I felt that one, one was, it was a few years ago, so I had less experience, but a lot is on the advanced admin that I'd never seen or touched before. And so some of the areas that advanced admin gets into are known as territory management and collaborative forecasting. And I've worked in a lot of different orgs, in a lot of different uh, verticals for a lot of different use cases, large orgs, medium orgs, small orgs, blah, blah, blah. I can only think of one or two instances where I needed to know anything about um, collaborative forecasting or territory management. Now, if you're working for a company or wanting to work for a company that uses those solutions, it's very good to know that functionality. That is really advanced functionality. Territory management, collaborative forecasting, these are not things that you learn overnight. So, you know, a lot of times what I see happening out there just um, in the ecosystem is people get the admin certification and then the logical next thing is, well, I'll go for the advanced admin because I want to be a more advanced admin. And there's some truth and value to that, but I feel like um, it's not that valuable of a certification. And if you look at my article that I wrote on charting your path that I mentioned earlier, and once again, just Google Mike Wheeler charting your path and you'll find it. Um, you will see that the advanced admin certification is only worth one point in the uh, partner scoring system, whereas the consultant certifications are worth three. And so, and then like architects are worth 25. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea of, in the grand scheme of things, you know, what Salesforce considers as highly helpful out there for their partners. And so that's, you know, I, that's one reason I've not created an advanced admin course yet. Now, I do plan to create one. I don't know at what point it'll be out. Uh, I do see that there is a need for that because those that are tasked with learning and implementing in, you know, enterprise territory management and collaborative forecasting, that would be a very helpful course to have. So it's kind of a niche use case. Even though it is really in demand, a lot of people want it. I could probably sell a lot of licenses to it or whatever, but it's one of those that um, has not been a priority for me. So um, some things though, that if you are wanting to study for it and you're tired of waiting on me to create a course for advanced admin, there's a couple of implementation guides out there that are helpful and that would be the collaborative forecasting and, uh, implementation guide and then territory management implementation guide. Those are really extensive and pretty exhaustive um, PDFs that will take you through the process of implementing those solutions. And as well, if you hit the advanced trails on Trailhead for admin, that'll get you well on your way. So hopefully that's helpful.